Here you will connect a Bluetooth enabled PDA installed with Nlight software to the actuator. Once a connection is established, the actuator setting can be configured. The software is supplied with the actuator or available on www.rotalk.com. Ensure Bluetooth is enabled on the PDA, then click on the Enlight icon to start the program. If you have previously connected to this actuator, you can click the button labeled Reconnect an Actuator. However, as this is the first time a connection with the actuator is being made, click on Discover a new actuator to begin a search. The PDA will now search for any CVA actuators within Bluetooth range. If there is more than one device, a list will be generated. The actuator will generally report its identity by its serial number, as shown on the nameplate. However, this can be modified to add a custom name. Select the correct one. Click on the Select button. Select User on the User Level drop-down menu. Using the keyboard at the bottom of the screen, type in the password. Sulis is the default. Click on OK to start the procedure. If communication is successful, you will be prompted to wait whilst the setup data is retrieved from the actuator. After a connection has been established, the stroke setup form appears. There are three choices from here. Align coupling. If the actuator is not fitted to the valve, this procedure must be carried out to enable correct assembly and alignment of the actuator coupling to the valve stem. Quick Setup Wizard Use this menu to automatically set actuator limits of travel. Manual Setup Use this menu to manually set actuator limits of travel. It's possible on this screen to choose imperial or metric units. The actuator serial number, current valve stroke, and position are also displayed. The PDA is now connected to the actuator and is ready for configuration.